Hey guys, it's Rome Ross, known as Calvin, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, I started doing a growly voice saying that because uh, I, I think it will appeal to the children. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be playing more Skyward Sword today. It's been a while since I've actually played this and sat down and played this. Um, I got the Iron Shield uh, on under request from you guys because... Like, there's no reason for me to go against your requests or to think your requests are ill-advised because I've never... You know what I mean? Like, it, they haven't steered me wrong yet. And I also want to say thanks so much. It's, this is the 18th episode, I think, of this uh, playthrough that I'm doing. And still you... Oh, oh okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. 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 Okay, okay. We're going to stop. What, Link, what are you doing? Um, I was, I was trying to give a heart filled thank you. Can I, can I do this? Okay, uh, it's okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I just opened up the bridge, but I couldn't get past this point But apparently there is a place you can get past. I was hoping that the side would work I was looking for them off-camera the the key pieces because I was actually getting a little bit um... Oh, oh a fairy, okay, um... Oh shit, okay, um... No, does this count as a jar? It does, okay good No! Oh, that's actually- that's actually really bad. <laughs> I- I tried my very best. I tried my best. Okay, I was- I'm just bad at this already. You can tell it's been a while. Okay, um... So we're still looking for the keys, so I was- I was actually looking for the exact way to go, so obviously we're doing good by going this way. It's all fun! It's all fun! I'm trying to look down, I don't want to die here. Oh, oh, oh! Gonna get that. Gonna get- oh my god, rupees galore. Okay, well, maybe this is where the key is? No, it's just a blue- I shouldn't say just a blue rupee, because every bit of money, like, counts towards something in this game. Eldenor? There we go. Gonna collect these two rupees as well, I'm not letting them go. Um, I'm wondering exactly where we're gonna get to, uh... We came from there. Like, that's where we came from, right? We're actually just looking at where we came from. Oh, over here! How am I- Oh, okay. Okay, so... Am I right in saying that? No, I'm not. I was thinking that was like the exact other side of this. Okay, let's drop down here first. Oh! Okay, that worked out. Not- <laughs> I was- I was hoping that would work out, but it, apparently it just did. Um... I'm, I'm very worried if I- How am I supposed to get in there? Still don't know where the actual key pieces are. Okay, that leads back up to, I think, the hole that we were in before. We need- oh, okay, okay, we can blow this up. We're almost in the temple. I actually went back and I didn't think this- I didn't know this was the actual entrance to the temple for real. Until I went back and I had to travel back here and they were like, Oh yeah, do you want to travel to the temple entrance? And that's how I knew it was the temple entrance. Uh, oh yeah, this is definitely- no, it's not. This isn't different. Is it? This is so not different. We were here before. Fuck. Okay. At least that's how you get the shortcut anyway. I guess I'll use the dowsing rod if it... There's... There's something in here? Okay, what about... Is there anything over here? Wait, is there nothing over here at all? I'm just going on a wild goose chase. Oh, that looks like a mouth. Oh, here we go. Nothing? Um... Okay, let's try over here. I'm actually very worried. Oh wait, right here? Is that what they meant? I don't think I've been here, have I? Or did I come directly from here? Well, this is... Uh, There's a thing we, we, we could totally, like... Oh, wait. Can we can we do that from here? Oh, I see. Okay. I think we have to roll this along this way like this. No? Somehow get along the wall? Oh, Jesus Christ, okay, that wasn't gonna work. That definitely was not gonna work. 
I don't I don't want to give up and look up a walkthrough. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. I know it would probably save a lot of time. That's not going to work. How am I supposed to... That's... Okay, that's probably something, but I'll come back... For, I'll come back in a second. I'll come back in a second when I exactly know what to do here. The first time it took me really long to figure out what to do with those bombs. Um, oh, because this is where we dropped down originally, right? I'll take a heart piece for sure. I'll take a green rupee for sure. Okay, there's nothing. The key ain't there. The key is definitely not there. Um, do we pick these up? Okay, we got another piece of key that I actually had to go all the way back up the ramp. I uh, Which I'm okay with. Um, I, I just didn't realize they'd be on the ramp. Okay, so maybe we have to go down here now? I think this is exactly where we were before, though. There's other little alcoves that I'm very, very worried about that I'm missing. So let's try going down the ramp again and see if we can find anything. We're almost in the temple. It's actually really weird because is this like a, the longest Zelda or something? Because uh, I'm playing it and honestly it, it does feel longer than the other ones. Like we, we haven't even gotten to the second temple. And it's like, we're on like part 18. Which is definitely different because I think in Ocarina of Time on part like 19 I was not only past a couple of temples but I think I was like, oh Jesus Christ. Um, I was actually like, I got the Triforce and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, so this, this is way easier than I'm actually like... I'm not like I'm being a bit of an idiot glute here. Like that was that was way easier than I was like making it out to be. Like usual with with Zelda games for me. Can I roll can I just roll that up? Will that actually roll all the way over there? I don't think so. Okay, it worked. It worked. That was actually very um How would I say that's very like uh very very lenient and like if you guys know how I play, I think leniency is exactly what's needed here. Uh, especially for me. Okay, we have the key. Uh, we can head back up. Awesome. Okay, so one thing I should actually say uh, before I start this, because I talked about it a little bit in Breath of the Wild video I released this week. Um, but um, I, I wanted to talk more about like something I saw over the weekend. I watched It and Stranger Things over the weekend. And I just wanted to, just wanted to quickly talk about how freaking awesome Stranger Things is. In my opinion, one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. Uh, it, it's like really weird how you get emotionally attached to these characters in the, the show in, in like an instant. Like the first episode, the music's great, the characters are great. The acting is like better than most adult acted shows, if you know what I mean. And like that is just because those kids um, are obviously friends in real life. And I think that helps a lot. Um, it is the same thing. Again, a movie that I feel like I've, I've enjoyed more than most. Um, Again, I'm using quotations, adult acted films, because that sounds like adult films. Um, again, just because it feels more natural, like, it's it's really, really, like, you can tell, and I'm, I'm going to tell you even more now after watching these two things, that everything I watch, like, every movie, every single drama or anything I watch, I'm going to know that some of these aren't actually friends, and it's going to upset me. And I'm going to notice really easily. Anyway, let's go into the temple. I mentioned this last time, but this is a really cool thing that Skyward Sword does better than other games. For sure. Like, it's- 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 hands down this does better. Entrances to temples. Like, this makes the temple feel important. Like, if it feels like it's an actual, like, it's a- it's a thing that Link has to now overcome. It's not just like, oh, he enters the temple, now, uh, go do some puzzles. It feels like an actual trial. Oh my god, we're gonna be in trouble. Hopefully, I think we might get the bomb back here, will we? Or maybe when we defeat, we save the place, we'll get the bomb back. So we have the shield now, which is good. Ooh, that music. Um, I, I know, um, I hate comparisons too when people can compare things to stuff. It really annoys me because it's like, just let a game be a game but on itself. Um, but the first part of that kind of sounded like, um, one of the worlds inspired of the dragon. One of my favorite video games. Holds up today, even if, even, even if your older brother, even if that snarky kid on the playground says, 
Hey, that game doesn't hold up as well as it did before. Uh, they're wrong. Uh, they're absolutely wrong. They just want to sound smart. And if you love your game now, it holds up. That's all that matters. If you love the game that you loved as a kid still, it holds up. Regardless of what uh, a, a, a person thinks in their mind, it, it's all up to you. We got two, three of them now. Hey, dude. My partner's gone missing and those red guys are everywhere. I never should have come here. Oh, it's you again. Come all this way and search your friend, eh? That reminds me. Before I came in here, I saw a weird-looking blonde girl get dragged away. But don't even dream about going to res to, to rescue those baddies. Are everywhere. If you want to live, live again one day. Okay, so we should head home. Okay, that's fine. Um, no. Uh, the, the, the thing with the voices there, and I know it gets kind of annoying after a while probably, but um, it kind of reminds you of stuff like Sly Cooper and... I don't know, old rare games that I- I never played rare games when I was younger, I heard about rare when I was older. Um... Uh, stop. But you know, like... Even without playing rare games, they're nostalgic. Uh, which is something- like, I think that's a testament to the games themselves. Like, even without playing the games, they can feel nostalgic. Which I wanna play- I wanna play some rare- oh, that's a snake in my head! Oh, that's so cool! You so cool, snake head. Um, uh, like, my, my, my thought process, uh, with, uh, with rare games is that I want to play a rare game eventually. I've never played Banjo-Kazooie. I have never played, uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. I've never played Banjo-Tooie. Nice. And I want to play them. I want to play them really badly. I'm going to get on you now, if that's okay. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. There's like stuff that's good ideas and then there's bad ideas. That was a bad idea. That was a good idea. Um, can I- I should jump into this now, right? Okay, and then jump into this. Is that right? Yeah, that was right. Can I- can I push this up? Or do I need something to push- oh god! Oh. Cut it, okay. It's not- it's not a lever, it's a- it's a rope. Oh man. <laughs> I love the temples in this game, I can say that with certainty. Like, it, it feels themed. Did I miss a, a lever? Or not a lever, um... I'm trying to see, did I miss one? Oh! Stay down. Um, I probably did. Unless I can... Shoot some- oh, I can shoot something, okay. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a little lenient there. What the hell? Is that not work? No, okay, maybe we have to Skyward Strike it. Okay, that's not gonna work either, um... Already hitting a stump in, in, in a dungeon is not what I wanted to start this video doing. Um, do we need a bow? What, what items do we have? Oh, I'm a freaking idiot. Jesus Christ. What items do we have? Just the item that will help. Uh, will this work? It does work. Okay. Very well. <laughs> I do like this as well. This isn't like an. I see you. You wanna? Okay, I'm gonna have to recalibrate this. Okay. 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 Side slash. Other side slash. Stab. Overhead. Up. Okay, I got this. I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm in a position now where I feel good. You okay, Fi Fei? Master, I'm detecting new enemies ahead. They appear to be creatures of very significant physical ability. Where? <laughs> Press E to target an enemy, then press down to call me when I- Okay, no, it's fine. I'll try my best first without getting hints. Probably a bad idea. Hello! Oh, God! You wanna- Do you wanna tell me what it is? Oh, yeah, so this is Alphos. This unmasked, uh, mistakable monster is equipped with an arm guard made of hard iron. Great physical prowess makes it difficult to uh, predict its moves. You will need to anticipate the direction of its arm guard to successfully land an attack. Okay. 
You can you have defeated zero of these enemies type and melt Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We got this. We got this. You got careless. You got careless as Alphos. It's okay, we all get careless sometimes. We all get careless sometimes, even me. I get careless a lot. I'll, I'll let you try better next time if you want. Actually, that was really fun. I like that, because I was basically just baiting him into um, uh, doing the guard move uh, for the side attack. And like I like that in games as well, when you're rewarded for actually doing some good stuff. Sometimes in games they decide like, hey, uh, let's let's just punish the player for trying new things. I tried some new stuff and I was rewarded for it, and I'm very glad that this game does that type of stuff. But yeah, if you, uh, by the way, I should say as well, I, I promoted the, the Stranger Things things because I was like, man, that that show is awesome. Uh, but also, like legit in my opinion, anyway, oh, we have to shoot these with the thing, don't we? Um, I think it is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Oh, we only need to blow up one, okay. Is that a frogger? Okay, so we have to, we can do a number of things, but um, first we're gonna do... Oh no. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. So we can go here first, but there's some stuff over there as well. Let's let's take a look around. Let's take a look, a look around. Um, can we... Blow up some stuff here, maybe? Uh, we could probably dig this up. We're gonna get- oh, we didn't even get some- oh, we didn't even get some jelly. Okay, I guess that there was three little ones, so it probably doesn't make as much sense if we get some jelly there. Um, oh- oh, God's a snail, not a frogger. Pretty terrifying, though. Um, so we can go this way. Can we? Sorry, sorry there, keys. Um, I'm wondering. I'm well, yeah, let's check up here first. Let's check, let's go back with the boulder for a second. And just check our surroundings. Sorry if you hear some, um, light hammering in the background. People gotta work sometimes, you know? Um, I guess... Wait, do we need to put... Oh, we're gonna have to need to do something with these bombs. Okay, that was not what we had to do, okay. I'm thinking we need to... I need to do that at a better time. Like... Okay, I'm, I'm, need to, I'm, I'm gonna need to work on the timing here. Okay, that was, that was, I guess timing wasn't the issue, it was just like, um... Well, I guess yeah, timing was probably the issue, yeah. Or maybe like the, the 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 length of my throw was probably the actual issue. Oh, we're gonna get something. Probably gonna get like the dungeon map or the compass. You got a gold skull, a real rare. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, very very cool, very cool, very cool. We can use that to do. Oh, we think we need one of those to upgrade our shield, which I don't I don't know if we're gonna upgrade the shield just yet. I might get a new shield after this because this might get damaged a lot in this dungeon. I still don't know. Oh, because there's another frogger over there. Let's try and go over here uh, past the frogger. Um, let's let's see if we can actually get past him. Oh, that was did I actually crush him? Oh, that's the other guy, is it? Blast! I must have dropped it earlier. Hey, nice timing, pal. It's me, Lead. You showing up here must mean we're connected somehow, you know, like f f fate or something. Anyways, do me a favor and get my bomb bag, okay? It was behind the rock looking treasure when the rock. I was behind the okay, okay, it's behind the rock. I panicked and hit the road, but it looks like I dropped it. It's a bag for carrying around bomb flowers. I can't imagine not having one. Oh hey, I guess I don't have to imagine it because I lost mine. Anyway, it's back there. Do me a favor and get my bomb bag back, will you? Yeah. So this is the part of the game where like other Zelda, like where the Zelda fans are going crazy because they're about to get a bomb bag. I can't get up there. Um. 
Am I gonna have to go around? It's it seems that way, doesn't it? Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a bomb all the way over there. No, they're definitely not gonna ask me for that. Um. There's also another Lizalfos up there. Let's head back for a second. Um. He wants to blow up this place. Oh, okay, we can get in under here. First of all, let's kill this guy. They get, e they get easier to kill every day. Oh shit, it's like a whole area. Okay, this is where we're going next, I guess. Who we talk to? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> nice work rolling bomb flowers through there. Uh, that's the mark of a real professional adventurer. Keep it up and go grab my bomb bag. I'm going to, yeah, I'll go and get your freaking bomb bag. Do you want anything else while you're at, while I'm at it, sire? Oh, no. I should have declined his offer. Um. Oh, it's like an Ocarina of Time. Kind of, I guess? Like that battle knocking in time. Oh my god, they're way, they're way cooler. <laughs> These guys are like gangsters. Oh shit, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a bit of trouble. We're gonna have a bit of trouble here. I wanna kill you first. Okay, so I'm advised never to waggle the, the remote around it like, like that. And it makes sense why not. But like, it, it works really well as a strategy for these guys, I think. Um, because they're unpredictable themselves. Okay, that's not gonna work out with these guys, though. This guy doesn't wanna- this guy doesn't care about waggling. Okay, yeah, I guess waggling worked there. Not saying it's gonna work all the time. Okay, got a lizard tail. That's actually probably gonna be very useful. It's just more items, and more items is what I need to upgrade stuff. Okay. And we probably got the bomb bag. Pick up this heart. Uh, man. I wonder if he let us keep it. <laughs> or at least give us a new one. See if lead will- oh, lend it to us. That's a, that's a, that's an interesting concept. They did that in um, Link Between Worlds, I think, which is- Man, I think, like, if you're talking about favorite Zeldas, like, I like a favorite 3D Zelda, probably a Breath of the Wild or Twilight Princess. Favorite 2D, I guess, 2D, 2.5D Zelda, definitely that. Favorite handheld Zelda I've ever played is probably that, for sure. Hey, Led, I got your stuff back. Hey, you found my bomb bag. Sorry to put you through that. I guess I owe you one, so now let me have it. What's this now? You want to borrow it so you can go deeper into the volcano? All right, you're looking for your friend. Yeah, sure. Have, uh, sure, have put yourself out there, getting this far. That reminds me. How's my pal? He's worried. He's worried about me? What kind of pal am I, putting him through that? You must be worried too, not knowing if your friend's dead or alive. You're very concerned and I like it. I'm not letting you borrow my bomb bag though. Nope, I'm giving it to you. Just don't blow yourself up. Very cool characters. Very cool characters. Now you've got my bomb bag, go find your friend. The reason why they're freaking cool characters in my... I forgot to tell you something. Knowing me, that bag's probably empty, so let me give you a little something. Oh, you're so nice. Um, I know I'm gonna, like, I know I, I'll probably get some shit for saying this, but like, uh... Uh, for me... Yeah, I know, I know what you gotta do, Burr. Uh, for me, personally, um... Sometimes... Not, not sometimes, like... 2% of the time when someone gives me a reason to, in a, any game to like when, so, when someone stops me from doing something in the game and the reason is like Well, like how am I supposed to know if like you're whatever or something like that? I usually like confuses me like um, I think one of the best examples is like the Goron's Ocarina of Time It's like hey, I want to save the world. It's like well, we like nice rocks uh, You know and then but that, that's like the only time I can really cite apart from like maybe uh, you sumo wrestlers right now uh, Or else we won't help you um and like everyone's gonna think everyone thinks I hate the Gorons and like it's so funny. It's so funny that they think that um, and it's my own fault I actually I, I've said many times that the Goron areas and games are probably my favorite areas and the Gorons are some of my favorite characters I just always love it like when Link's like hey, I need to save the world and they're like um, Oh, yeah first. Su oh shit <laughs> first sumo wrestle us um, Yeah, 
But I really like when characters, when other characters realize that we have a job to do and realize that we need help and they help us. And the Zoras are, like, famous for doing that in every single game. Every single game I've played with Zoras, apart from, like, maybe Link to the Past, they just, they're just like, yeah, we'll help you, no problem. Just, like, first you have to, like, like, not do something drastic first, but, like, my, my daughter is missing, can you help us? Which is, like, such a reasonable request. And in all fairness, save the entire Goron civilization is kind of a reasonable request as well, I guess. Uh, well, anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've had a lot of fun playing this, and I will see you all very soon. Come.